Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon! Last time, we revisited the Gloomy Manor and ran into Slammers and Hiders, two new varieties of ghosts that we had to overcome to recover some gears to a door opening mechanism that'll allow us to enter. Where else? But the northern rooms of the Gloomy Manor. Wow, I ran out of air right there. This time, that's where we're going. Quiet, please. No. Hey there, Luigi. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The access mechanism in the foyer. Here you go. You can use this crank to operate the access mechanism. Once you do that, you'll be able to access the north rooms of the gloomy manor. Criminy! You hear that? The periscope is picking up an audible signal from the very same area we're trying to reach. Let's see here. It's music. How odd. If I remember rightly, there is a grand piano in the library. Maybe a ghost is playing around on it. Anywho, let's mark where you need to go first on the map. Yes, it's the library, the exact location you were just talking about. How overly dramatic of you. Luigi, this is the strongest paranormal signal we've seen yet. With a signal that strong, I reckon the ghost playing the piano might be giving orders to the other ghosts. No time to waste, my boy. Get to the library and catch that ghost. There you go, Luigi. That's how you're supposed to arrive in the gloomy manor. On your butt. So, um, starting off. Yeah, I can check the suit of armor. We can knock the head off of it, and we can get lots and lots of money. Nee. What? Are you going to tell me that money can be exchanged for goods and services? Because I wouldn't doubt it. Hey there, Sonny. I've noticed you been collecting a lot of coins, bills, and... Really? Nothing wrong with that. The mansion is abandoned, so finders keepers, I suppose, even though it's your house. As a matter of fact, I'm also gathering some resources of my own. Yep, I'm going to use them to develop upgrades for the Poltergust 5000. He really was contacting us to say that money can be exchanged for goods and services. Holy crap! What I was wanting to show... Oh my god. Um... Can I really... Not do this? I thought I could. Hang on. Oh wait, no, I'm dumb. I just lost my mojo there. So, if you look up with that head, or helmet, not head, thank god it's not head, you can aim it at certain things. If you're to hit at that picture of what it is you are shooting, then yeah, you get a teardrop right there. I guess he was very sad about being beheaded. Or perhaps maybe it's a blood splatter. Not think about it. Go into the guard hall and uh, but that's a cool effect. Wow, it's somehow more creepy without the suits of armor here. Yeah, uh, they were here, and now they're not, and they appear when the lightning strikes. That's actually really cool. I forgot that even happened. Back into the foyer. It's glowing for us. It beckons us. Let's put the mechanism into place. Half aquarium, half elevator. Words used to describe no other thing at any point in history. Don't we feel special? Speaking of which, feeling special, I don't know. Uh, I want to make a slight detour to the lab to show this. There is something here that was not here before, and if we check it, <laughs> Louis just like, eh, I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna keep far away from it because it's probably gonna blow up my face. After all, I know how the world is always out to get me. He is a very smart man, and that's probably what would have happened. Especially considering it looks like a flashlight and he dang near almost blinded himself with the last flashlight that we picked up. Hit you. Don't get away from me. I won't care about your brethren that are in rooms I've already explored and pillaged, but... Did he just walk through the fountain? Okay, strange. Uh, vaults! Do you have any more goodies for me? No? Okay. Now, shouldn't aquariums not have glass on the top? I didn't think they usually did. I'll, I won't complain if it means I don't fall through and drown, but okay. They were playing rock, paper, scissors! <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Let's get the two of you at the same time, and Ichin Modajin! Uh, oh boy, don't want those spiders. Really don't want to trip over them while I'm fighting you. You, and there we go. 
Another slammer in the slammer. A safe. Do you have anything for me, even though your uh, brother did not? Oh, okay. So you had all the money that your brother was holding out on me. You're paying your brother's dues. Gotcha. Gonna get my gold bone. Not that I need it. I can hear the music getting closer. Uh, can I? Hang on. No, okay. It didn't show up as a door on the map, though, so I didn't think so, though. But I was like, wait, they did actually come through, and it doesn't appear locked. Here we are in the library. <laughs> oh. We are able to see this through the peephole earlier, back during Gear Up, so this is another example of foreshadowing. We just gotta keep moving? Ah, oh, I barely got that, okay. Uh, okay, so we gotta keep moving to avoid the b Knew you were gonna be there? Yes, got both of you. This is not going to last. I'm gonna get hit by a book, just one. Uh, no. Nope, missed you, okay. Uh, maybe I should just kind of give- No, 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 no! I am not giving up on two golden mice. Not giving up on two golden mice, thank- Need to get you too. Thank you. Oh god. Okay, that was. All right, that was chaos. Ah! Said it was gonna happen. Said it was gonna happen. But I get greedy and I take damage. It just it feels when I have a game that is grading me and damage taken is one of the things that's grading me on. I just feel worse for it. Also, the tablecloth trick had to be in there. Yeah, I don't know what it is. You can grade me for points, you can grade me for money, you can grade me for enemies I've beaten, you can grade me on everything else. But whenever I got hit is in the equation in the things that you are grading me on, I feel so much worse for that than I do for like anything else. Doesn't matter how many things you grade me on, as long as damage taken is in there, I just always feel really... Bet you think you're a smart little mouse, don't you? But you do. Uh, are you still around? Oh, hey, uh, Jem! <laughs> Shininess that won't affect my rank whatsoever, so it doesn't make a Luigi, why are you Why did he why was that all in slow motion? That was weird. Okay, uh so first the mouse going through the thing and then time slowing down. Would you get over here? I don't even care about the one coin that you have! I resigned as the no coin Stop it! Jeez! Your guys' official name is just Mouse! You have no authority to be a worthwhile enemy! Because the people that created you didn't think you deserved a worthwhile name, even! And here I am getting clobbered by you worse than I have by any ghost. So you can ride the dumbwaiter down, you can use that string to call it as well. It's kinda neat, I guess. Uh, nothing over here, okay. Uh, I wanna check the refrigerator and get slammed in the face with it, because nothing's ever easy for Ouija. We can almost take that over to the, oh my god, oh my god, it actually counted, it actually counted. <laughs> I thought that for sure I was gonna have to wait. Oh my god, what a time to have time stop, getting almost hit in the head with a rolling pin. <laughs> Come on, hit me. Once, they, once they're stunned, you can then attack them without having to worry about them shielding it with that, I almost called it a garbage can lid, but that'd be very unsanitary in the kitchen. It's clearly the top for a pot. Can you hit me, maybe? Not you. Uh, yes. All right. Get you. Uh, uh, what is it with the little creatures being the ones that hurt me? I know that I've said before that they can be more annoying than you think they would be where you're trying to fight more important stuff, but the little creatures get in the way, so I recommend destroying them first a lot of the time, but still, like, this is weird how like I'm taking no damage from ghosts, but I'm only taking damage from those. Shouldn't complain too much though. I think honestly things have been going pretty well. I, I, I could have done a lot worse in a lot harder fights. It's just me screwing up on the easy stuff because that's typically how I am. Anything that's hard, I remember how to do it to a T and I never mess up. But once something is easy, no, I mess that up. Always. This guy's face and expression reminds me of Dr. Scratch and Sniff from Animaniacs, though, but he's not called that. He is called a poltergeist. Yeah, he actually has, like, a name of what a ghost actually kind of is, I guess, and he is kind of true to his name in that way. Oh, did oh, did no, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, he throws books at you, and there is no way for you to stop those books. The strobe bulb doesn't stop it, the poltergeist doesn't stop it. Only way to really deal with it would be to dodge out of the way. You can imagine how much this fight sucked before I knew dodging was a thing. I'd like to get you both at the same time, but I will gladly take one, if that means that I can just get out of this alive. You're gonna throw the book at me. If you have to dodge out of the way to 
If you have to sacrifice your current meter to dodge out of the way of something, then so be it. It's okay if that happens. I just don't want to get hit anymore because I've been getting hit a lot by easy stuff. You had a book, okay. Uh, you should, you should be, where are you? There's two of you and I can't find a single one of you. Oh, okay, I'll take it. I didn't know you were there, but we can pretend I was for sake of getting points. Whoop, whoop, got you, and got you. Or, what, what even hurt me there? Okay. Here where they are, based on what side, which uh, speaker side they're coming out of, kind of an advantage to it being on a portable, I guess. Me through that. Uh, I see the books rattling in various areas, but you're not actually there. Uh, you had a book. Got you. Uh, I cannot catch a break here. Just wow. This seems to be the mission of me taking far more damage than I need to, and also getting interrupted. That. Yes, okay, with your whole five HP, just get in the tank. Thank you. Also, your health drops are very much appreciated because Lord knows I need them. Yeah. Through both of the books, and then I can get you without having to worry about the other one. Yes! Okay, at least, at least the last hits went smoothly. Better than I could say for everything else we did here today. Oh. Yellow. Yellow, you'll kill it. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Z-Cat. <laughs> okay, that kind of made getting hit a bunch of worthwhile. Yeah, all right, not one of my better performances. You had me worried there for a minute. <laughs> not one of my better performances, but okay, it was worth it for the snark. Those big brain ghosts sure put up a fight. Mm -hmm. The way they were throwing those books at you reminded me of my college professors. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll bring you back now so I can study those magnificent specimens. Ow. Nice, short, sweet, simple mission. I like it. Not every mission's gotta go on for half an hour to be entertaining, and I kinda wish more of them were like this. Not because I want less game, but with this being a portable experience, one complaint that I have is that sometimes missions just feel like they go on for a million years, and you can't exactly just enjoy them. You can't just sit back and play like in a doctor's office and not have to worry about it being cut short for you. Hey, still got, still got two stars, still got three gems. Can't complain about that. I don't think that was totally terrible. I mean, it was mostly terrible, but not totally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go back to the bunker. Good to see us back in one piece, as opposed to what, 50 that we were just in? Here's our gems. Yes, yes, yes. Our new ghost, the poltergeist. Our treasure, which then fills up our meter. We have earned the level two Poltergust. This will give us an extra segment to our meter, which, uh, well, we'll see exactly what that does next time we do some ghost hunting. Gotta save some things for last time, or you can just tell me what it does right here, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can weaken the ghost even more when you press A. Okay, no, not really. He doesn't tell you everything that it does. There are still some surprises. Those brainy poltergeists sure are strong, but they don't seem to be in charge of the other ghosts. I reckon they're still worth studying, though. It's just so fascinating how some ghosts can evolve into more advanced forms. I don't fully understand the nature of their power, but I will one day. That will be my legacy in the world of paranormal science. And you, Luigi! Once this is all over, you'll finally step out of your brother's shadow and be recognized as a true hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, we are getting played like a fiddle around here. <laughs> and next time on Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, we return to where else but Gloomy Manor once again. Because, criminy! Someone's been ca casting illusions in the Dark Manor. We'll need my dark light device to see through this hooey. I'm pretty sure I left it in the lab. See you guys then. <laughs> Ha ha ha!